What's going on guys? My name is Zach and today I'm going to cut your boredom. Now people have told me that my hair can get a little bit out of control. So today I think I'm going to go ahead and try to make myself a hair comb. I have some scrap pieces of maple, ipe, and African mahogany that I think if I laminated them together would form a really cool looking design. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clean up all of the edges on the belt sander. Then I'm going to cut everything to length, maybe about 11 or 12 inches. Then I'm going to glue everything up. Then once I plane everything down, I can be left with a really cool looking block of wood that I can turn into a comb. So the next step was to transfer a comb shape to the wood. Shout out to Mike at Modern Builds for this great template. So I cut out the template and used a bit of spray glue and attached it to one side of my scrap piece. I also wanted my comb to have a handle, so I modified the design a bit to fit my own needs. Next, I put my comb in my clamp. And I was way over ambitious and thought I'd be able to cut out the whole thing by hand, which is possible, but would have taken much longer than I wanted to given that this was a one day afternoon project for me. So I instead moved to my new small used bandsaw and slowly cut out each piece, which works very well and goes very quickly, even with very little experience using a bandsaw. Next, I switched to my belt sander and started rounding off all of the surfaces. First, smoothing outer edges, including sanding off the template, which was super quick. Then rounding all of them over. Then I started tapering down the bristles slowly. They were made out of maple, so they were very hard, but I still was careful not to break them. And using my rafter square here helped push down those surfaces evenly. Next, I clamped it up and began lightly sanding each bristle with 80 grit paper, which was a bit tedious but also was really relaxing in the process and worked really well to round over each prong. Again, just don't go too hard or you might snap a bristle. And then some final wet and dry sanding at 220 and 320 to really smooth everything out. Last up, I could add a bit of mineral oil to the comb to bring out the colors. And with the oil dried, the comb was done. And for just a few hours of fun making and woodworking, the final result was actually really cool and it functions quite well. No promises that my hair won't be messy still in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the vid, and I will see you guys next time on the cutting board. Bye.